Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizundu if you haven't been here before and if you have, welcome back. Oh, I've got so many products in front of me. I won a competition with the Australian brand Ulta 3, not the American brand Ulta, Ulta 3. And I got two, they basically gave me a voucher worth $170. And Ulta 3 is a very affordable brand. So I got, I got a lot. I got a full face and I got 12 nail polishes because they also do really good nail polishes. So I'm gonna show you everything and then we're gonna put some makeup on. First, I'm gonna show you my nail polishes. So I'm actually wearing them today. I'm wearing two different ones today. I'll show you what I'm using. First off, I got a base coat and a top coat. I never used this before. I'm trying to like be better at doing my nails because I've previously been really bad at it. And I've actually been growing them out. They're not in great condition right now because I did my nails quite a few days ago. Hopefully it stays that way. So yeah, I got base coat and top coat just to make it last longer and it is working. I'm really impressed with it. And then the rest are just colors. So the colors that I got is Living for Lilac, Bubblegum. I'm wearing Neutral Vibes. And then I topped it with Luna. Or did I top it with Cosmic? It's either Luna or Cosmic, I can't remember. Then we have Violet Rumble. I think these retail for like, between three and five dollars each. They're really affordable. Galaxy, which is a metallic brown. Uh, Vixen, I love this one. Spring Bloom, love this too. This one looks really good on me because I'm very fair. Untold Secret, it's a very light shade, but it looks really nice on my fair skin. So I got all of those. Something I've been using already, everything else I haven't used, it's gonna be a first impression, but this I've been using a lot. This is the Ultra 3 Darkening Shade Drops. I used to have the Lightning Drops and I went through it and I loved it. Um, but right now I've got Gradual Tan on, so my, it's not a huge difference, but this is darker than my face. So I've been, oh, I've been, I've been adding this to my foundation and concealer products. That's a really good product to have just on hand. I'm just going to go through, I'm not going to go through all the products, we're just going to start using them. So I already done, I've already done primer because I don't have one. I actually have been through a whole Ulta 3 primer. I'll leave a picture up here for you to see which one it is. And I went through the whole thing and I really liked it. Wasn't dewy, it was a very natural finish. Uh, it was just a nice hydrating, it was a nice primer actually. So I got two sets. I've got, they come, they have like collection sets where you save money. So I got a complexion set and a brow set. And then the rest is all individually packaged. Um, you can buy these individually too, but I bought them in a set. I'm going to start with the foundation. This is the second skin foundation. It's a radiant finish with jojoba oil, argan oil, vitamin B, and it's in the shade porcelain. Medium to full coverage, natural radiant finish, long wear formula. Okay. okay. Is that too close for you? Too bad. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit too light. But what I might do, no, I think I'm gonna have to add, look at me. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna add some of these drops. What I'll do is I'll just put this on and then I'll put like that so we've mixed the light and the dark. But I am trying to go darker than my actual face. What do they say? Medium coverage? Medium to full. Okay. We will see about that. Should I try with a brush? Because I feel like this is very light coverage. The only annoying thing about this is not enough product comes out onto the doe foot. So that's my first feedback with that. I'm just gonna continue with the sponge. I would not call this full coverage. I would say buildable to medium. And I put a lot of foundation on, so. It's not like I used only a little bit. So yeah, definitely not full coverage. I'm noticing a little bit of dryness. It's clinging to a little bit of dryness. 
Yeah, I think this is more suitable for normal to oilier skin. I don't know. It's not bad, but it's also not great. Like I don't feel like I'm my best self. Okay, now we have the second skin concealer. This is quite small, it's only six mils. I also, I have the shade light. I don't think there were many shades of this. This is hydrating full coverage. So let's go in with this. This looks darker. This is darker than the foundation. Lol. <laughs> did, I, did I pick that? I can't remember if I picked it. The shades or if it just came in a set, I don't remember. This feels a little sticky. I don't I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about Ulta 3 complexion products. It's not bad so far. <laughs> uh, it's not full coverage. These products are claiming to be full coverage and they're definitely not. I like that the concealer's not too light, actually. I kind of like that. But that's because their shade range is not broad. <laughs> now, I want to say, in the past, I've loved Ulta 3. I haven't tried a lot of products. That's why I've got everything here today. And this is a real test because um, I want to like them. I'm gonna do a little bit more to see if we can get more coverage. Yeah, that's built it up a bit more. I don't know, it's just not like, wow, if I'm honest. I like a full coverage concealer and a lighter coverage foundation. So I like that the foundation's not too cakey. It's definitely not cakey, but it's also not radiant like it claims to be. I don't feel like it is. Okay, we're gonna go straight into powder. This is the second skin pressed powder. This is just translucent. They also had shade ones as well, if you prefer a shade. I just make sure I got no creases. I'm very sleep deprived at the minute. Okay, that's not bad. It's not going cakey under my eyes. Just a little bit in my T-zone. Okay, I like that powder. That's a good, that's a good powder. It doesn't look cakey at all. It's really just set. Mm, that's good. So far I like that product. That's a good one. So I went for soft brown and it comes in a kit like this. So I'm obviously not gonna use all the products, but we have the Fluff and Fix Soap Brow Compact and it looks like, is there supposed to be something in there? There's nothing in there. Okay, let's have a look at these. So we have the shade and shape, which is one of these tips. So if you want like a, if you've got thicker brows, they're suitable. We've got the line and define micro brow pencil, which is probably what I will use today. And then we've got the good old fashioned pencil. It's called Essential Brow Pencil. I really hope this is a good color for me because I have it in multiple products. So that's the color there. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. It might be a little bit on the darker side. No, we'll see. We'll see. Let me go get a spoolie and some setting spray. So I've just got a disposable spoolie and um, this MAC Fix Plus. It's just like the little, um, what do they call them? They did like a series of calm, energy, passion. It's just Fix Plus, let's be honest. Okay, so I'm going to spray it into here. And I'm gonna pick up the product. I really hope this works. Um, the other one that I have is Mecca. I've started taking um, hair, nails, and skin tablets. Like only a couple of days ago I started because I am postpartum and I'm anticipating to lose hair and I really don't want it to happen. I think I remember with my first baby, I started losing hair. It, was a, it wasn't straight away, it took a while. So it's different for everyone. Some people don't lose hair. Some people lose it early on, but I don't know. So I'm gonna take these tablets, but it'd be good for strengthening my nails as well. And 
you know, I want my brows to grow. I think it'll be good. I have not, I have good th thick hair, but I would just like, you know, just an improvement, just to keep it all growing, you know? Mm. See that? This is my good brow. So this will be a better indication. I mean, it's sticking down. The only thing with soap brows is I feel like it's a lot of work. That's working. Let's get this little pencil here and add some strokes. I feel like the soap brows has worked, but I just don't know if I love it on me. So I need to go get my baby because he won't sleep. Okay. So the one positive of this this video taking me a million years to make, um, my son is finally asleep, is that I can tell you how everything is looking. I'm like an hour and a half in, and how long have you been watching this video? <laughs> so skin looks good, actually. Um, still not getting radiant, not getting full coverage. Um, because that's what it says that it is. That's why I'm saying this. Brows, I feel like soap brows are really good if you already have really solid brows. I feel like if you need filling in, soap brows just aren't for you. All right, let's just keep going. Should we do eyes or should I give color to this face? Let's give color to the face. So I have the um, bronzer duo. I think there's only one shade of everything. Um, that's the thing with these smaller companies, they don't really do shade ranges. Everything is glowy. Then we have the blush. Very pretty. And then we have the highlighter. And they're all baked. Now they all have these little mirrors, which I think are so pointless, like you cannot see anything in that. So I'd rather they just didn't have it, if I'm honest with you, and then highlight it. So let's start with bronzer. <coughs> oh, that does not smell good. What is that supposed to smell like? Hmm, it's not too heavily pigmented. And then I'll go in, I only want to use that lighter shade, or oh, cooler shade a little bit. So then I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I like that they're not heavily pigmented. It's got a nice sheen to it, can you see that? Hmm, this is quite nice. I do not like bronzers that are heavily pigmented. I don't like them at all. Because then you spend more time trying to blend it out. Hmm, yeah, this is a nice color. Have you guys tried any Ulta 3 products? What I had tried before was a primer, nail polishes, the white lightning drops, um, which I really liked. Did I try anything else? I don't, oh, the lipsticks. Um, I bought two lipsticks uh, and they're repurchases. So I almost finished, oh, I got foundation on it. I almost finished these two shades, uh, but then they ended up becoming quite old. So I repurchased them. So I'm gonna show them to you, don't you worry. But Ulta 3 lipsticks, um, their matte formula is my fa one of my favorites because it's a really thin formula. This bronzer looks really nice on my skin, don't you think? I love the nice shade of warmth. Uh, yeah, their lipsticks are really nice. I decluttered a whole bunch just because they were really old. Um, and then I repurchased these too. So yeah, the matte formula, that's what I was talking about. The matte formula is really thin and it looks really nice and easy. It's really nice and easy to wear for a matte. It doesn't feel heavily drying. And I'll show you, they're really wearable shades. 
I absolutely love them and they're like four dollars or something okay that's really nice I'm really happy with this bronzer duo you know what I'm not gonna do blush yet I'm gonna see what eyeshadow I end up doing so I'm actually not gonna do this now or the highlighter because it'll go over the top so let's go into eyes I know this is unconventional but um, I don't one's cool toned and one's warm toned so we'll see I have two options for eyes so I bought this eyeshadow palette this is the ultimate eyes um, matte mayhem I really like these colors they're all matte and I just think they're really pretty I see you're doing like a 90s supermodel look but then I also have these master metal single eyeshadows when these came out I really wanted to try them but I never did and now I have them so this one is brass there were more but I just picked up true so brass is the more cooler toned one Oh my god, my son will not stay asleep. This is driving me crazy. So there is brass. And then we have bronze. I love me a single eyeshadow. A little one and done moment. They feel really nice. So yeah, this one is just more golden. Very pretty. And that, sorry, that is the eyebrow pencil that I swatched before. All right, I have my pram here, sun in hand. I'm so sorry, very unprofessional. I don't know what else to do. So um, I've done some swatches for you of the palette. You cannot see the first two shades basically. Um, so there are no shade names, but this is the first one here. If you can kind of see it, then the second one. Third, fourth, fifth, and then six. That's a black there. Okay, let's just start with this beautiful, like creamy shade. I'm really intrigued by the quality of the eyeshadows because they come at a great price. Like I'm in the mood for a nice all matte look, but I feel like we should look at the I feel like I should show you the, what are they called? Master Metals. Ooh, let's do that second shade in up here. Not getting a, not really getting a lot of color. Let's see, might have to go with a different brush. Very light, it's as light. Let me try a different brush to see if that makes any difference. Maybe. All right, let's go in with this third shade now. Let's see if we can get a bit of color. I'm gonna use that same brush because it's a little bit denser. And these are a little bit light in pigment. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Oh, we're zooming up on the mirror, are we? Just gonna stamp it on. I don't have huge eyes to work with. That's quite nice. I think I'm going to, I'm gonna do this one just on the outer corner. And I'm using a more fluffy brush because I don't like anything too dense in this area. And I will blend it out. Just like to do the outer corner. I have hooded eyes, so I'm gonna try and open up the eyes. I don't wanna close them. Unless and that's my intention, but not today. I'm gonna get another brush, and I'm gonna go with that last shade, the black. And I don't use black often, so we're gonna go in very lightly, just a little. I actually want to get my refin number three, just this tiny brush, and just do it across here. I would like to know how this black performs. Okay, so I just got a different brush because the other one was not working for me. It's just a little bit smaller. 
and I'm just adding a little bit more black into the outer corner. I'm actually kind of really liking how this is turning out. Very easy to blend. I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but I don't feel like it's too patchy. It's very hard with black, very hard. So I'm trying to blend as much as I can, but I do want it to be quite black just here. I'm going to get this, this warmer brown shade, the fourth shade, I guess you could call it. I'm going to do a little bit under the eye. I really like this look though. Then I want to get this third shade and just kind of buff the edges a little bit. I've got to be so careful with black, it can wash me out so easily. So I'm just trying to make sure that it's still nice and warm and blended so it's not too much black. I don't know, I just have to keep going back and forth with this black. Um, but anyway, let's try this brass. I'm going to use my finger, I think. Uh, okay. It's not bad. It plays nicely with a brush. A, a brush? Wow. We've gone from soft glam to full glam. <laughs> Haven't we? I mean, it looks nice though. Um, I don't know. I actually really like this. I think this is really nice. And I would like to wear this alone without this palette another time. Um, so stay tuned. I'll probably add these into my shop, my stash soon. Um, cause I would really like to play with those. These are the kind of shadows I'd use just alone. Maybe with a bit of bronzer in the crease. I don't love this. I think I liked it at first, but I've spent so long trying to fix my eyes and yeah, I don't know. I think I have to keep playing with it. I think next time I would not use the black and see if I like the palette a bit more. Um, yeah, just a little bit, I don't know, hard hard to work with. So I'm going to put some mascara on off camera, might put a little bit of um, uh, liquid liner on, and then we'll come back for um, the blush, highlighter, and lips. Okay, so here we have the blush, and I think I'll definitely go in with the warmer shade, so I'm glad that I waited, which is this one here. It looks very pretty. I'm just going to focus that at the top of my cheekbone. So we're doing a bit more of a, what do you call that? I don't like to use the word snatched, but pulled back look. What did people use before the word snatched? That's very glowy. You wouldn't even need a highlighter. I'll use the highlighter because we're here, but that's super glowy. It's very pretty. I like this color, but it's very much like a blush highlighter. A blue lighter or a blue lighter. I think you could definitely, I'm going to go in with a bit of that pink just here. Yes, that's nice. Just wanted a little bit more color. Mmm, that's nice. A little bit on the sheerer side. I went in a few times. And I feel like that kind of boosted the color a little bit, but yeah, not bad. And then we'll go in with the highlighter. So it's called Get That Glow. And I'm using my favorite highlighter brush, which is the Mecca Max Highlight Hitter. And we're gonna go with uh, this one. I'm hoping this looks nice. It's gonna be hard to tell because there's already so much highlight. <laughs> oh my God, I got a lot of highlight on. It's just the business, baby. I swear to God, I'm never going to rest. I got two matte lipsticks, two liquid lipsticks, and two lip liners. So the lip liner, this one is Blackberry, um, is suitable to my liquid 
Longwear Lip Cream, sorry, Ultra Matte in Spirit Sister. So I got these two and they're suitable for each other. And then I, I don't think I'm going to be wearing that one. And then I got um, Nude with the Undercover. I probably think I'm going to wear that. And then these are my two repurchase lipsticks. This is Sandalwood. It looks a little sweaty, but I know that's fine. See how sweaty that is? <laughs> but that's pretty normal for lipsticks. Um, I will give them a few swatches. I'll give you swatches. I just wanted to show you. And then we have brown sugar. It looks way more intense in there than on the lips, in my opinion. Or not. Um, like when I first saw them, I was like, well, that's not going to suit me. But then when I wore them, I was like, she's beautiful. So we have the more uh, lighter one is sandalwood and then brown sugar is the more purpley looking one. The lip liner is called Blackberry. And then the lipstick is called Spirit Sister. And then we have nude lip liner to undercover lip cream. And I'm gonna wear these two today. I wonder if it dries down. We'll see. As I talk, we'll find out. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I didn't like. Let's start with that. I didn't... Okay, I'm, I'm going to say I didn't love it. Mm, I don't think there's anything here that I severely hated. It takes a lot for me to really hate something. But I didn't love the complexion. So I didn't love the foundation. It's not bad, but I feel a little flat. I look, I feel like I look a little flat, um, considering how much highlighter I have on. This concealer, it was just a little bit not memorable. Um, I will continue playing with them. In first impression, I'm not wowed. I'm usually kind of no with foundation. Foundation and lipstick is my shtick. It is my like, they're my favorites. Is like foundation, lipstick, expert, okay? Um, <laughs> and these two were not my favorite. This performed really well. Like it's not that it was a bad product, but for me, I didn't love it just because I don't know if I'm a soap brow person. Um, I think next is the eyeshadow palette. I didn't love the eyeshadow palette. I've definitely tried, I think I've tried worse, but I think very easily tried better. Um, you know, in saying that I've only used it once and I've only done one look, um, but I would like to keep playing with this as well because this color story is so me. I love it. So I might even try a, like a softer look next time. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I post my looks there or I might use it in a shop my stash where I also post my looks that I do throughout the fortnight. Um, so you can check it out there. Next, I would say the blush. Uh, just because it's very pretty, but I feel like this was a bit lackluster. This was more highlight than pigment, um, but I really liked this one. So for that, that would be next. I would say this is a very intense highlighter, which is not really my shtick these days, but in see how intense that is. But in saying that, I put this over the very intense blush and the very intense highlighter. So I could just be overly highlighted because of that. Um, but... It definitely has a lot of pizzazz, if that's what you're looking for. I really liked the bronzer. This is definitely dried down. Let's see if it's, um... oh yes, yeah, transfer resistant. Oh, that's good. Okay. It's hard for me to give a review on lipstick because I haven't eaten. It hasn't been through the day, especially with long wear ones. Um, but then I think I'd go brows. Not bad, just like every other brow. I would definitely use all of these products, by the way, of the brows. I think they're going to be very easy go-to. It's a good color for me as well. Um, I think next I'd go the bronzer. Nice bronzer. I like that there's a cooler tone and a warmer tone. You lose points for lack of diversity. I really like this powder. This was a nice powder. Solid, reliable, um, disappeared. 
but set my makeup. So I'm really excited to keep using that. A nice affordable option. Um, it's hard for me to really know, but um, I really liked these. Lip, this lip liner glided on really well and I felt like it was gonna stay. I'm just touching it now. No, it feels pretty good. It's not fully, it's, it's dried down. I accidentally got the lip cream on it, but it's dried down pretty well. The true test is when I go and cleanse my arm, what sticks and what is, um, disappears. So they were really, oh, I mean, this one was really nice. I haven't tried that one. The thing is, I know that these are fantastic, so I'll probably rank them number one just because I know that they're amazing. But otherwise, these are also really good. I really enjoyed using the brass shade. I think it looks really pretty. It's very pigmented. Um, it's creamy in the pan as well. So I'm excited to try the bronze shade as well. And this, I love this shade. This is a beautiful shade for me, undercover. Um, and then a nice more purpley tone as well. So... Overall, I'm pretty impressed with, I would say, about 50% of these products. I think this brand is very hit and miss. I feel like lip product is a standout um, and powder product, um, face powder. Um, not really into the complexion, but overall, I'm pretty happy. Like, I don't look horrible. Um, I just think the eyeshadow could have been a little bit easier to work with. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below if there's any products that you love that you would recommend. Um, and then we can have a discussion in the comments. Um, we can recommend things to each other. But overall, I'm pretty satisfied um, with the overall look, the quality, uh, very affordable brand. So yeah, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. Share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.